stuffed acorn squash. I think it's anything we want it to be. So you know what? Let's start stuffing. This little butte right here, we're gonna stuff it. We are, and we're gonna stuff it with a sausage and apple mixture. First thing we need to do though, is we gotta kind of pre-cook this in our air fryer. So let's get the air fryer going, 380 for about 20 minutes. But you gotta prep this little guy, right? Can't just shove it in there like that. I'm gonna cut it in half right down the middle. Easier said than done. Ooh, oh actually, not too bad. Ooh, don't cut yourself. <gasps> Look at that, we did it. Yay me. See these guts? Don't want those. We're gonna put them in there. Just scoop out all the seeds and the, I'm not sure if they're guts, it's like pumpkins. What is that stuff called? Seeds and ribs, guts, grossness. Huh, I'm not sure what it's called, but we just don't want it. That I know, so we're gonna take it out. Oh, acorn squash smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. so we've got that cleaned up and beautiful. Move that out of the way. Simple, all we're doing, dredge with a little bit of olive oil, little drizzle, and a little salt, pepper. That's it for now. I am using a Himalayan pink salt this time around. We're gonna put those in there. We're gonna let those go for 20 minutes and then we'll come back to that. But we've got some filling to prepare. Oh, this filling is going to be wonderful. Let's get some filling going. We're gonna turn on our burner. You're gonna cook about a medium temperature. So again, depends on your burner, whatever that means to you. Medium temperature, a little bit of olive oil. You don't need too much because we are using a pork sausage, which inherently has a lot of fat to it. Diced yellow onion. You can use white onion if you'd like. Don't use red. Red's gonna be just way too harsh in this recipe. I'm just gonna let that cook and soften up just a little bit. While we've got that going, I have prepped all of my ingredients thus far, except for the apple. I didn't wanna prep the apple too soon because you know, apples tend to go brown if they sit for too long. But let's go ahead and get that peeled and diced. And you just wanna finely chop the apple. I'm gonna go ahead, let's add our sausage. This is just one package of standard pork sausage, nothing special to it because we're gonna add our own seasoning blend. This is going to finish off in the air fryer, but pretty much just to kind of get all the flavors put together and to melt some cheese. So you do wanna make sure that you cook the sausage through. Nobody wants to get sick. Let's sit for a minute, let's finish up our apple. I think I'm only gonna do half the apple. Use your judgment. I'm only doing a, you know one little acorn squash. If you're cooking up more, obviously use more of your filling. But the way I figure it is it's about half an apple to one pound of sausage. Potato masher. It takes away any huge chunks of sausage. It works great if you're trying to break up ground meat for any recipe, tacos, burritos, just anytime you don't want a huge ball of meat, like a meatball, this works so wonderfully. Yeah, sometimes you can even mash potatoes with it. <laughs> See, nice ground little bits now. Now that we've got that broken up, we're gonna add in some diced cremini mushrooms or chopped, chopped cremini mushrooms. You can use any mushroom of your choice, but if you've watched my episodes before, I'm really hooked on the creminis, but I know, I need to step out of my fungi comfort zone. I need to mix it up, right? I agree. <laughs> we've got minced garlic. This is the kicker. We have got nutmeg and allspice. It's going to smell like Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, Easter's coming up. This would, oh my gosh, the sage and the nutmeg would go beautifully with your Easter ham. We're gonna let this go for about four more minutes and then we're gonna add the apples because we don't want the apples to become mush in there. While this is cooking, we're gonna pause. Right now, pause. Go hit that subscribe button and then help me build up my channel. Did you do it? You did it, didn't ya? Ah, love ya. Thank you for that. That is looking fantastic. Let's go ahead and add our apples now. Ooh, our squash is looking good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that sit. We've got about seven minutes left on that squash and then we'll meet back here. I'm gonna go take a sit, get some weight off of my hip. Our squash is done and it looks 
fantastic, but hot. So be careful. Get ready for part two. This into there. Don't go through the skin. You want to make sure that you keep a little bit around the edge only because of the fact that you don't want to break your shell because we're putting everything back in here and it's going back into the air fryer. So let's just work on getting that scooped out. Oh, this is so hot. Oh my gosh. One down, one to go. There we go. We've got those hollowed out. Thank God. Filling we made, we're gonna put it in there too. To this, we're going to add some sage and shredded parm. And then we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it back in there. A little redundant, huh? You take it out, you put it in. You do wanna fill these pretty full. They're not gonna, you know, swell up or anything like that. Only gonna cook these now about maybe five more minutes because they're cooked through. What we're gonna do is get those in there without burning yourself. And we've got a little bit more Parmesan cheese that we're gonna put on top. Now remember in an air fryer, you can't just drizzle it on there. You gotta kinda mush it on there. Otherwise it sucks up into the element and then that's a whole nother show. So basically what we're doing is we're now just cooking it until that cheese melts. So about five minutes and it goes at 380. There we have it. It's done. Ooh, look at those. My jaw's alive to the rescue as always. Additional five minutes to melt that cheese, which is why you wanna make sure that you get that pork cooked through before you stuff it in there. There we have it. Acorn squash, 20 minutes in the air fryer, mixed together, another five minutes and you're done. That is it. I don't think it gets any more simple than that. And I'm pretty sure it's healthy because it's squash. It's a vegetable. I really want to try it. It's going to be really hot, <laughs> but we have to do it. We're going in. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, wow. Mm, that's really good. The onions still, they don't have a bite to them. They're soft, but they're not smushy. The apple, you get that sweetness from the apple. I used a Granny Smith. I don't know if I mentioned that for the tartness. And then that sage that nutmeg, that allspice, it is right there to the forefront of your flavor taste buds. It's good. I don't know what else to say, but make it. I think you will enjoy it. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, bye. Take a bite of that bad boy.